Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video from the Ingenious Engineer. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to fix a common error on Windows PCs that you might have when trying to upload code to an off-brand Arduino Nano. You might have encountered an issue where your computer is not recognizing your Arduino Nano, even if it is working and plugged in. The reason is most likely because the Arduino is not original and therefore does not use an original FTDI uploader chip. The FTDI chip is necessary for your computer to be able to upload code to the Arduino. Here is an image of what the chip is supposed to look like, and here is an image of what a fake version might look like. Keep in mind that all fake chips don't look the same, so the chip in this image might not look like the one on your Arduino. However, if your chip doesn't look like the one in the first picture, then it definitely is not an original chip. The fix is very simple. All you must do is download the required driver, also known as a CH340 driver. This driver is compatible with the fake FTDI chip. To download the driver, go to this link. You can find it in the description box down below. Once the website has loaded, click on Windows 7 slash 10 on the right side. Then click on this button over here to start the download. Once the download is complete, open File Explorer and locate the file you just downloaded. Then double click it to run the program. Once the file has opened, click on Install to get rid of any existing drivers on your computer that might cause problems with this one. If there are no conflicting drivers, it will say no devices found. Then click OK. Now to install the CH340 driver, click Install. Once the installation is complete, it should show a window saying the drive is successfully pre-installed in advance. Click OK to close the window. Now the CH340 driver is installed on your computer, and you can close this window. Your computer should now be able to recognize your Arduino. If you are still having trouble uploading code to your Arduino, check out this video that solves another problem with fake Arduino boards. I hope this video helped. If it did, please subscribe and leave a thumbs up, as that will help me make more useful videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.